Well, I think I'm on. I think everybody can hear me. Is there little levels going up on our vocal? So do do our vocal. Can you see it says deck two? Is yours going up? All good. We're all good. Hello everyone. We were just having a few microphone issues before we come on. It's always the way, isn't it? Every week. Let let, let everybody see you behind the cameras on camera free. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we've always, I think there's always been a tech issue every single time, hasn't there, Rhea? Every time we come on, I've it's... I've just seen a spelling error in there. Have you, have you just seen a spelling error? Just ignore that. <laughs> what does it say? Across the screen, what was RHW colour? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Now, a little secret then, everybody who watches Mod Shoes and, uh, and, and is involved with us, um, everybody, all the text that you see on the website is all checked by my wife because she can spell and I can't. And uh, I blame, well, I don't blame anyone, but anyway. Um, tonight, we've got a quick show um, because we're going to talk about these in a little while. But I'm going to zoom over to Rhea because Rhea's got a load of bits and pieces on the contact uh, comments already, I believe you have. Yeah, yep. okay. Okay, so, we've got Nick. Lean a bit, you can't see your face, look. It looks odd. <laughs> you, you're behind it. Not very professional. No, it's dreadful. <laughs> Nick, Darren, Richard, all say hello. Simon says hello. Um, Sarah says hello. Sarah, we're watching, have fun. Um, Sarah says she's watching Mod Shoes and Rhea says hello. Hello, Sarah. 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 Uh, he's off now, so yeah. Um, yeah, that's good. Uh, lots of hellos. John, what have you got for us today? 
John. <laughs> um, hello to everybody on there. Rich Fairclough, who's watching, used to be in the buzz back with me, and this is going to be, there's some more revival stuff coming back on. Tim was with us last weekend, uh, last Tuesday. We went off to see Paul Weller in Cambridge, which was a good fun, uh, a great gig, um, and it's nice to see Paul out again. Um, I think, though, before we get onto these shoes, we are going to zoom to an advert because we're going to talk a little bit about something that happened on Sunday. Well, we just had to show that. Um, we had to show it because the, it was the Peaky Blinders final on um, Sunday evening. Um, I watched it live, I don't, well, we, uh, what they call on delay, but I was watching it live on Sunday evening. Did you watch it live? Yes, we did. It was fantastic, wasn't it? it there's been commitments. You, well, you're, you're in two minds, aren't you? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm indifferent. You're indifferent? I really like it. Really? I thought it was excellent. Oh, they're just uh, lots of spoilers. I don't. I hope that people are watching. The, the reason for showing the advert is because obviously we're not going to get to show it very often from now on. In <laughs> so uh, uh, we better get our ma money's worth. Um, I liked it. I, I've loved the whole series right from the start. I remember watching nine o'clock that first series, which everybody knows, over and over. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I loved it, and I think the ending was about as good as probably it's going to get. You know, uh, so that's it. Anyway, let's get on with these bowling shoes. Let's have the graphic up on the screen and we'll talk about that. Um, as you can see on the screen, there is the new strike. It's in blue and black. Now, I won't lie, I thought the blue was going to be a lot bluer. <laughs> but it's a midnight blue, because we did a midnight blue before. So it's a very subtle uh, take on the, the shoe that we do. And if we move on to the next graphic, I'll give you a little bit of history about the mod uh, and the bowling shoes. Top left there, I don't know if you can see, but that's Stretton Bowling Alley in um, the early 60s. And arguably, that's where the first time that mod people started wearing mod shoes, um, wearing mod shoes, well, mod shoes, obviously, yeah, but bowling shoes. And the story goes, the famous story is, is that the guys liked them so much that they walked out with them because they took a pair of rough shoes in and walked out with a pair of good pairs. Now, I have a bit of a theory about that. I have a, a bit of a 60s, I don't know if you want to go back to the camera for a second. So I have a bit of a theory about that because um, if you look, there's a few pictures and I know um, Mickey Tanner and a few of them, everybody thinks of the mod thing as being a very sort of always suits, but I always reckon that they had their suits, pictures taken in the suits because that's when you have your picture taken. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So you, it was for best. Nowadays, we've got cameras all the time. So that we always get this impression they're always wearing their best all the time. Whereas Mickey Tanner sort of makes a point about them wearing Harrington's and perhaps less casual things. And so perhaps it was part of that new movement towards where you're young, so you wore something casual. Does that, does that make sense? So uh, um, that's my take on it anyway. That's, I, I welcome some views on that. But anyway, go back on the slide and I'll... I'll the, it's the second one, the, the, that's the one, yeah. Um, for us lot, um, Mod Revival, my era, if you look at the top, there's the Jams gift in a sleeve. There's a guy with bowling shoes on. And I think it's because Weller was starting to get involved with the, um, uh, you know, Northern Soul thing. I think by 82, he'd kind of got bored of that kind of crashing guitar sound and moved on. But there on the right is the fantastic bloke jumping up doing a jam jump with his, like, his bowling shoes on, which is fantastic. It's just such a that time. And the cavern thing below it, which is just, that's memories and probably a lot of people watching this having a lot of memories what, looking at those pictures. You know, it's really cool. I think what's on the next slide? Next slide? Yeah. Um, yeah. 
is next slide. What's this? Is this a government? Is this um, my? Is that my professor? Tur What's his finger? But when he was doing the COVID thing. Next slide um, is the strike. We did the strike. Uh, Carl Grizzly was badgered me from day one to get them done. And um, it's the chisel toe bit at the front. I don't know if you know, but to try to get that chisel toe right was really hard. Once we got them done, um, we got asked our good friend Dave Fletcher of uh, The Jammed, and he tours around in them. And he literally, as you can see in that picture, jumps up and down in them every single night. And he says, Andy, I cannot believe that they've lasted so well. I mean, he wears them on stage two hours a night, jumping up and down, going absolutely ape. And I think that's a testament that they're being really good shoes. So we're really pleased with them, and he loves them. Um, so that's good. So, but let's stop going on about them and let's have a bit of a close up. Yeah, yeah. Are you on the close up? I think you are. So, I don't know, let me get that nice and close. I think you can see that it's black in the middle and it's midnight blue on the side. It's very subtle. I mean, I'm looking at the camera because I can see it over there, but it is incredibly subtle. The picture pro pictures probably show it better than that. If you notice here, it's got white lace. Um, they're going to send us some blue and black laces. So when they go on sale on Friday, they're going to have free sets. So that's free sets. Hold on, let me do it that way so you can see my fingers. Free sets of laces come with them. So you can have the white, the black, or the blue, which I think is pretty cool. Um, underneath, it's got the rubber bit at the front here for stability. I had a pair in the 80s which were proper bowling shoes, and they were suede, and literally as soon as you t stood in a puddle, the water went through. Yeah, useless outside, but they're great looking shoes. Um, again, it's got the detail. Let me just show that, see if I can catch the light. It's got the holes on the side. It's black at the back. They are made of the softest leather. Let me try and get that in really close. They're ridiculously soft. They literally don't take any wearing in. You can literally put these on the feet. And I don't know if you can see, but it doesn't have an inner. It is, it's one piece. Does that make sense? It's not two pieces stuck together. So they're ridiculously comfortable. The people who like the one of ours have got many pairs. So there you go, there's a close up of them. What you can wear them with, it's endless. I mean, on the wide shot you're seeing, there's all this kabichi stuff. You know, look at it. I mean, every single piece of it goes. You know, it's really good. I mean, just taking one of the things at random, you know, take this lovely top, put that pair of jeans off out. You know, that's a nice look. I think that's pretty cool. You know, it's a good look. Yeah, it's got summer written all over it. Now, just one thing I mentioned with these, which I didn't make a lot of to do last week. This is an exclusive. These three here, these cycling ones, are exclusive to us and 80s Casuals. There's only two people got them. That's us and 80s Casuals. Um, they've got the, the zip up here. It's a cycling shirt without the bit on the back, basically, um, which makes it nice. Uh, makes it less heavy um, as we all know if you've got the bit on the back it tends to fall off um, so they're exclusive to us you can't get many wells i think they're really nice oh, don't you? What's the name of that one? it's the ledger isn't it i think the yeah the ledger and, and we've got them yeah beautiful um we've got it in navy and we've got it in the sky blue as well but that's exclusive to us you can't get that anywhere else so i think that makes a look look at that you know that's just fab ag jeans pair of trousers yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's really nice. What are we on to next then? We've got, got we got an advert. Let's go for that. Hi, I'm DJ Tom Hoy, and this is the Beach Boys inspired bomber jacket by 66 Clothing. Over the years, the more passionate I've become for modernist clothing, I've learnt that less is definitely more. The bomber jacket is a timeless piece that gives a subtle nod to the past but also has its place in contemporary menswear. In the 60s, Britain's youth looked to America, but what British people often didn't realise was that the American film stars, musicians and pop culture icons they admired were actually looking at the college campuses for style inspiration. Whether you call it the bomber jacket, the ski jacket or the monkey jacket, it became a smart casual look that tied an outfit together for day-to-day -to -day life. You can wear one with a pair of chinos or even trousers in a formal setting and they look good with a pair of loafers or desert boots. This jacket by 66 Clothing has been inspired by one the Beach Boys wore. The Beach Boys merged together the surf look with ivy style and even though the college campuses they looked at were on the east coast of America, this look could even be referred to as west coast ivy. You can imagine Hollywood film stars wearing outfits like these on days off and there certainly is something quite understated and effortlessly cool about it. This is a classic regular fitting jacket that's an absolute staple of the wardrobe. 
Its minimalism makes it super versatile and it's timeless for a reason. Great a look that's great for the weekends, great for days off, or in fact, great for any day of the week. Available now and exclusive to 66 Clothing. Have you got some comments on it to read out? Uh, not any questions. Uh, let's have a look. I've got. Ooh. Okay. Um, hello, all. Be a beautiful. Oh, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, series four and five, the best. Comments. Oh, I dis I disagree. I disagree. Series series one. Series one was such a shock to the system. Yeah. Um, Oh, I don't know. What makes them say series four or five? Give, me, give us some reasons, because I'll, I'll, I'll argue with you. <laughs> right, I think I'm not... Oh. There was a couple of questions in there. I thought I saw that somebody said about how they had their first pair. I had a pair in the 80s. I had a regional pair in the 80s. They had the leather underneath, not not suede. Ah, ah right. Yeah, that, that's, that's a fair point, because um, you could get them. Um, I know that sh the Shelley's ones and stuff were, were like basically like trainers, you know, like these are really. Uh, um, but the proper ones, I mean, the ones I got, I got off, well, he's not around anymore, so I can say his name, Mickey, because he nicked them from <laughs> Marley and Alley. And they were like really smart. I mean, really smart. I wish they kept them, but they got soaked and I think I chucked them. <laughs> I mean, Mickey, um, yeah, yeah, anyway, that's another story. <clears throat> have one more question what sizes do the bowling shoes come in the the men's ones we do from 6 to 12 we did do an initial run of ladies ones um, I won't lie they didn't really sell I'm not saying that we won't do them again um, we can do smaller ones is the question really do they want something under the size of 6 or above 12 I think that's the next question so but yeah. we can we can get we can is, is the answer and uh, someone did ask if they're available from Friday, I've just said yes, they are. Yeah, yeah, they are, they are. Right, we've got a couple more things to mention. Um, Kibichi, um, as you, on the screen, you can see the Kibichi stuff that we released a couple of weeks ago, a week ago or so. Um, it's going out the door frighteningly quick, <laughs> uh, um, which is good. Um, means we're not going to have much left. Um, but the Connery, which is this one, I don't know if you want to go back to that. The Connery is this one, right? Right. Yeah, there are literally none of them. They're, the, I've got like three or four of these left. Um, if you're after one of these and see your size, and I've looked around and I've asked um, Kabich if they've got any more in stock and they haven't. That's that, they're the last. They're, they literally f threw out, so uh, run that particular one. And the other one that's been popular is the, the Fonda. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been marvellously good. Um, I will just say one thing, just, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just going to do that just very subtly, like point to things that you might want to notice. And then we'll move on to the next thing. And then somebody will go, what you got there, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what we got next? Prince's graphic, I think. Yeah, um, yeah Prince's great shoe for us. Uh, come back in. If you've got any friends who are in the Scar or Northern Soul scene, these are fantastic shoes. We've been in, selling them forever. Brilliant pair of shoes. We do about five variations on them. We've got the pinprick ones, which are called tea bags. We've got the All Stars. We've got the All Nighters, and we've just got the plain ones as well. Um, great shoe, last forever. I've got a mate called Neil, and he goes to All Nighters, and he comes back every two years for a pair. Really? I mean, and he goes to All Nighters like probably every other week. And so they last proper. So I'm really pleased yeah, about that. I remember Jenna saying that they, they were really yeah. shoes. Yeah, mega shoes. They're, they're really good. Um, brilliant pair of shoes. Anyway, I think I've warbled on enough. So I don't know if anybody's noticed anything. So uh, um, hold on. What we got here? Uh, they are indeed. Yep. Uh, under six, please. Nick, I. I know that you've asked for a few things in, in smaller sizes. I'll probably do a few more, go down on those for you, fella. Um, it's just a simple answer on that one. Love my artwork, McCartney Shire, uh, inspired shirt, right to date. Smashing, thank you, Simon. Uh, Chris has got, got my fonder in blue this morning. N um, really nice gut. I'd want the yellow, but large sold out. Oh, on this one, yeah. I might be able to get some more of them. Let me find out. My pair back in the early 80s came from the local bowling alley. Spent a couple of hours getting the size off the back with Terps. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of people did that. You, you weren't alone on that one. <laughs> our, our, um, I think we're done. We've got a big launch next week. Do you want to tell the people or shall I tell the people? Um, um, right. Let's do 
big launch next week. I would really be here next Tuesday if you're female or male. We've got a lot on next week, just in time for Easter. There's a lot of cool, cool stuff coming out next week. Um, especially if you're a dusty fan. Well. Yeah, especially if you're a dusty fan. Eh? Uh, <laughs> so um, some really super noise there. I think we're done. Um, yeah, I think we're, we've had all of those. Yep, smashing. Let's play the advert. Get out, and we'll see you all next week. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye bye for now. Dresses, shoes, earrings, tights and gloves all designed to coordinate with each other. The Isabella Coordinated Collection by Mod Shoes and 66 Clothing. New and exclusive at Mod Shoes.